Sorry, I've got the water here, I've got a bit of a cold, and it's my birthday. Who does not want to be in a room full of 300 women on their birthday? <laughs> and my wife's over there as well, by the way, <laughs> to keep an eye on me. <clears throat> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, honoured guests, partners and esteemed speakers, all protocol observed. I just want to play a video for you about this event first. I am Puti, and you're watching the Standard Bank Top Women Conference. because it brings women together across different sectors of South African society and they're looking at what's their next. Every single year, I'm just, I, I, I walk out of the room thinking, my goodness. I just want to formally inv and you know welcome you to the Standard Bank Top Women Conference for 2019. Um, I just want to ask, can you please give a quick show of hands for all the women who have been to this event before over the last 16 years? Quick show of hands for all those who've been here before. Fantastic. And can I ask those that haven't come before? Can I ask you to all stand, please? <laughs> We're not going to shame you. <laughs> can we please give these ladies a round of applause? Thank you very much. I think you're gonna to enjoy today and tomorrow. Make sure you meet and greet as many people as you can. This kind of reminds me of a couple of years ago at one of the first winner's dinners that we had at the Sonnenberg's offices in Santon. There was 20 winners, 20 women winners, and myself. Um, it was a great evening, and um, one of the winners decided to have a bit of fun I thought it was a good idea for all the winners to mention three things about me on a piece of paper. <clears throat> yeah, well, I'm not going to ask you to do that. The last time was bad. <laughs> the moral of the exercise was that whatever they expressed was really a reflection of what they saw in themselves. Some called me sexy. Some called me confident. Someone called me frugal. For the next two days, you're going to learn a lot about the people and their organizations. And I just hope that you share some of yourself with them. When I speak to any of our customers, I tell them a little bit about myself and what we do, and then I ask them about what they do. So maybe you can help me with this presentation. I have a couple of questions, maybe you can help me to answer a little bit later. But before that, let me get in some formalities. 
<clears throat> so our journey started with Standard Bank over 10 years ago, and they've been supporting this program. They've been the title sponsor for six years, and through their vision of their amazing CEO, Sim Shabalala, and his team, including Funeka Mojana, Talani Sebeka, Solid David Bora, who's here today, who's speaking after me, Lindy Lou Alexander, and Cleo Zwani, and the whole leadership team at Standard Bank. They've challenged us to take the Top Woman program, not just national, but to the nine provinces in South Africa. Now we are doing a live broadcast to their offices. Standard Bank supports this conference and awards, which must be commended as the most progressive bank that innovates and understands the future of this continent. I can't think of a better partner for young South African women entrepreneurs aligned to technology looking to solve Africa's problems. This is one amazing team of professionals. <clears throat> I would also like to thank our other partners, Google for their insights, how young women are breaking into the exciting world of technology, to the UN, really is a dream to be part of a, an international organization, um, and gender diversity organization as well. And to our breakaway partners, ASAPOL, Roshda Bardeen, SA Post Office, and GLAD, who will be sharing some of their amazing case studies with you later today. We have a fantastic lineup of speakers for you today, which is very exciting. But let me quickly tell you about Topco. Our purpose is to be the trusted network of top companies and leaders. We want to connect people and companies to do more business. I want you to do business this next two days. Helping the economy grow. You're going to help this economy grow and impact society. We research over 10,000 companies each year. We engage with decision makers and we serve over 50,000 executives who help us by sharing valuable information on their organization. We usually collect about 100 points of data. <clears throat> Our aim is to find the best of the best. And today is about sharing their insights with you. For us, it's critical that we find out not just what you're doing, not why you're doing it, or not even how you're doing it, the KPIs you'll get driven, but the real juice for us, the things we want to share with you today, is we want to understand if you are measuring the impact of what you're doing. <clears throat> we are fixated with a couple of things. That, are tr that we are trying to benchmark. One of them is gender empowerment, black empowerment, performance, culture, sustainability, governance, and innovation. We believe all organizations, this is key strategic imperative for all of them. Once we have this data, we start to celebrate best practice with case studies and thought leaders, much like we're doing today. We want all inquisitive minds to have the answers to the pressing questions. So we share these insights through our publications, awards, conferences, newsletters, websites. Some of the brands that you might recognize or magazines you've read or events you've attended. Top Empowerment. Africa Tech Week. <clears throat> Vision 2030 the future of HR, voted the top 20 HR event globally, one of the top 20, the only one from Africa. Our top performing publication, obviously the movers and the shakers of high growth companies. Our national business awards, which we've been doing for almost 20 years, tracking best in class, and top 500, SA's best managed companies. And PSM, it's our partnership that we have with the Department of Communication, and it speaks to all the public servants. Which really leaves me last with Top Woman. Uh, the Standard Bank Top Woman purpose is much aligned to the Topco purpose, and that's to create a trusted network of top empowered, top gender empowered companies and women entrepreneurs. So, 
<clears throat> we certify over 2,000 companies each year as uh, top gender empowered, and we believe that empowering women can accelerate growth in Africa. Obviously, we often get asked what's the impact of what we're doing, and some of the impact is that over the last 16 years, we've certified 10,000 organizations, we've profiled 1,000, we've given awards to over 1,000 organizations and individuals, we have a great uh, community that engages with us, a great readership base, we've had over 7,500 women attending these various events. <clears throat> so, I mean, this is great, doing these events, publications, doing the research, case studies. And so the real question is, why invest in women? Are women better investors of money? Now, I asked you earlier to help me with this presentation. Can anyone help me? Are women better investors of money than men? Yes. Pardon? Yes. The evidence says you're right. Women return almost 2% per annum over men, even against the FTSE. When they did a survey of women investors on a app that had 300,000 local investors, what they found, in fact, was that women investors outperform men. And the reason is, Funny enough, they found that men were very emotional. <laughs> Unfocused. <Wow. laughs> it's funny. It's true. <laughs> Read it. What they found was that when markets dipped, men became edgy and weren't able to control their emotions. Great. Where women were more structured, more resilient, and held out. Markets returned. If you're going to give your money to someone, who are you going to give it to to invest for you? Next question. How productive are women startups? Productive? Not productive? Incredible. Businesses funded by women delivered more than two times more per dollar than invested founded by men. bit more than that, I think. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. I think what I want to reinforce today is why we're here. Why we're here is because we know we need to invest in women businesses. We need to invest in women gender-empowered companies. We need to invest in women leaders. We need to invest in young women entrepreneurs. Now I'm going to go through some of the reasons why. I need you all to come together and believe to share this message. <clears throat> Next question. It's getting exciting. <laughs> Do women really control the purse strings? No. Do they? Not in my house, eh, babe? <laughs> in my house, it's 100%. 70% of household expenditure is by women, globally. 20 trillion a year. Get some of that. Do women tech companies survive? Do women know tech? <laughs> I'm being horrible here, eh? <laughs> Private technology companies led by women achieve 35% higher return on investment than men. And the kicker is it's 12% higher revenue if venture backed. Standard Bank, where are you putting your money this year? Next question. Are you enjoying this? Yes. I thought so. <laughs> Do women companies compete in first round investing? I think you're getting the idea here, right? <clears throat> when founded companies, women founded companies outperform companies founded by men by 63% in first round capital portfolio. <laughs> I'm talking myself out of a job here, I know it. <laughs> uh, is investment in women companies increasing? Exponentially. 
Investment in women-owned companies is, was just 3% of total funding in the US in 2005. In 2016, it's gone up by now, it increased eightfold to 22% of total funding. How about how important are women leaders? Do they make an impact? Companies with strong women leaders generated 10% return on equity per annum versus 7.4 for those without strong women leadership. If you don't have it, get it. The data tells you. Are women businesses on the rise? Hugely so. 12.3 million businesses in the US at the beginning of 2018 are either sole or majority owned by women. 2,000 women owned businesses a day are starting up in the US. African American women owned companies are increasing by 164%. 164%. The highest growth in businesses in the States is coming from African. American woman-owned companies. <clears throat> okay. Well, why does diversity work? We're here because we know it does. Companies that reported above average diversity in their management team also reported in innovation revenues. So the data is pretty compelling. <clears throat> we often get asked, what's the impact of top woman? And so those are some of the data points. Mm, that's great. So I always like to talk to people, me. And so what I thought, let's talk to one of the winners. My name is Lynette Mahasa from Boniswa Corporate Solutions. I always want to motivate other women. I always want to, you know, Topco puts you in a different platform. Where, um, where I am sitting today, I play in a global platform. I was then recognized by United Nations. I was, then I became businesswoman of the year. I became young entrepreneur. And then I became the, the uh, innovative award. And so, so my client, they also gained confidence based on what Topco has published, based on the awards that I put in my office, I, I play in the telecommunication industry. So I am well placed in that industry. I, I have a contract with Vodacom, which Vodacom, they've always worked with me. But what has set me apart to get a Vodafone contract that set me apart from my competitors, it was from Topco because I participate on Topco, then I know how to handle myself in public. Then I wanted to study further. And for you to participate, it's sort of like a medicine to help you to strive much further. And I still say up to to date, um, you know, when, when Topco found me, I think I had about less than 50 employees. Today I have 160 employees. I have offices in South Africa. I have offices in, I have Boniswa in South Africa. I have Boniswa in Botswana. I've got Boniswa in France. I've got Boniswa, I'm now setting up Boniswa in Canada. And, and the story goes on and on. And that, that interview was actually about half an hour long. So we had to cut the juicy parts to get to that. <laughs> she once told me when I was up at the awards about two years ago, Ralph, please don't do that again. Rather get me to do the pitch for you about how good the awards are. So anyway, <clears throat> I hope that helped. Um, so, you know, what's the future for Standard Bank Top Woman? Well, we're scaling into Africa. We're building a, a Top Woman ecosystem uh, with a Top Woman learning platform, a Top Woman Connect page, and a top woman fund. Um, and really what I'd like you to do is, uh, my editor said there must be a call to action at the end of each speech. So here it goes. What I'd like you to do is to go on the website, to sign up, to connect, to join the community, to go onto Facebook, to connect, 
Use this as an opportunity. There's amazing people in this room. There's amazing people, past winners. There's 10,000 organizations that are certified. They want to work with you. They want to help you. They can help you. I encourage you to use this opportunity. Thank you all very much and enjoy the next couple of days. Mm -hmm.